Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2005 Toyota Land Cruiser with 178,600, I'm sorry, 963 miles. So 178,963 miles on the clock for this thing. Up front, we've got an ARB front bumper, integrated signals and fog lights. We've got PF front lights here. If you want to call those like overlanding lights or rally lights or whatever, but they're on the front bumper. We've got a Warn VR8000 winch right down there, mounted in the bumper. Looks great. Uh, the bumper itself looks pretty decent. It does have a little bit of fading on the surface of the bumper itself. On the uh, passenger side, it's especially noticeable, but it's not anything, you know, you stand a foot or two away. It's not anything that stands out. Um, it doesn't look horrible, but when you get right up on it, you can tell. The hood itself looks pretty good. No rock chips or anything like that. Looking at the driver's side front fender. It's in good shape except for this little oddity right here. Uh, right along here is sort of a dent. Uh, it looks more like a crease than a dent. So it's, uh, it's a really fine line. It's not really an oval shaped, uh, but there is a fine line indention just across the, the fender there, just above the wheel arch. So again, it's, it's really, really hard to see typically, especially if the, if the sun is shining on it. Uh, it doesn't really show up very well. There's a good chance you won't see it in the photos, but it is there, I'm pointing it out now. Not a huge deal in my opinion because it's so camoufl it's camouflaged so well. Um, so the tires, we do have BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAs. The wheels are in great shape, no damage on those. Driver's side mirror looks good, except for that little paint issue down there. This driver's side door looks good. Uh, these side moldings look really, really dark. They look almost brand new. Uh, typically with a vehicle this old with this mileage, you would see, you know, side moldings start to fade, window trim start to fade and come off. The side moldings definitely would be a lot lighter, but the plastic and all the trim has been restored and it looks fantastic. Um, we do have a little bit of chipping here on the front door on the side. Uh, but that is it in the rear door. We do have a little bit of a blemish here on the side molding, but otherwise the door looks excellent. Rear driver's side wheel, we do have just a little bit of rash. Pretty fair amount of rash on that side, but otherwise the wheel looks good. Driver's side rear quarter panel, in good shape. Moving along in the back, looking at the rear bumper. Rear bumper does have a few scratches and scuffs, but nothing uh, serious, no glaring defects. I suppose that is a uh, pretty decent sized defect there, a little bit of scuffing, and a little bit on the passenger side as well, a mark there. So it's not perfect, but overall, especially given the year and the mileage, I say it's incredibly clean with just a few blemishes in the back. It does have a trailer hitch already installed, or a uh, receiver at least. It does have rear mounted fog lights. Moving along to the passenger side here on the back bumper, it's pretty significant scuffing. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty easy to see. Passenger rear quarter panel looks really good, no issues. Again, that side molding, that trim looks great. Rear uh, passenger wheel, a little bit of chipping on the finish of the wheel, but no rash or anything blatant. Rear passenger door, <coughs> a little bit of rock chipping down there. Small scratch under the door handle. <coughs> Excuse me, looks great otherwise. Front passenger door looks great. We do have these uh, frame sliders on both sides as well. 
They're both in really good condition. <coughs> oh, excuse me again, I do apologize. Front passenger fender in great condition. There's no issues with that. And then of course the passenger mirror honestly looks great. Uh, just that tiny little scuff there on the side. And then the front passenger wheel. Um, the finish on this wheel, it looks like the spokes are kind of faded. Um, there's not really, there's a little bit of rash. Uh, there is that chip on the wheel as well. So not perfect. Uh, that wheel does have some cosmetic flaws, but again, it's nothing outrageous, nothing blatant staring you in the face, just a little bit of wear. So I will go ahead and walk around this vehicle from a one foot distance to give you a better overall idea of the condition of this vehicle. Here at Exotic Motorsports, we do these comprehensive walk around videos to give our out of state buyers the confidence and peace of mind they need to purchase a vehicle from us, sight unseen if they choose to do so. Walking around a vehicle from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day to day basis if you were to own the vehicle yourself and helps separate the uh, larger, more obvious flaws from the smaller, less significant ones. And it kind of helps you get a better understanding of the condition of the vehicle. Pointing out every little flaw does kind of make it sound worse than it really is uh, when you're not gonna see or notice those flaws more often than not. So hopefully me walking around the car gives you a better understanding of the current condition that it's in. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. Very nice stone interior with these uh, sort of faux marbling uh, accents. I think they're a little nostalgic and I kind of like them. Power adjustable seats, which are in fantastic condition. WeatherTech floor mats, the OEM floor mats do come with the vehicle and are provided in the back hatch. Door panel looks great. Controls for the aftermarket lighting. Go ahead and hop in. And of course, with this being a Highlander, you do have the four wheel drive. Do apologize for missing that, but it does have the easy entry and exit. The steering wheel did tilt down when I started it. We've got no warning lights whatsoever. The steering wheel just has very, very subtle signs of wear. Not anything super significant. I'll try and get it to increase the exposure here so we can see it a little better. So here on the steering wheel, just on the very top portion, uh, we do have a little bit of wear, but again, it's nothing significant. And to my understanding, it should be pretty easy to have touched up. Uh, the headliner looks really good. Front passenger seat looks phenomenal. No issues there. Passenger door panel looks great. The dash is in really good shape. It's not sun faded or worn out either. We do have a power sunroof as well that is functional. And again, we've got a tape player here. This does have voice activated um, navigation which it's saying the system is not connected so I'm sure it has the capability it just needs to be activated um, cruise control climate control options there And it does have rear entertainment as well. So 
these DVDs. Pretty neat. And then the back seats are in great condition as well. A one piece all weather floor mat for the back. Looks really nice, matches the interior color. It has quite a good deal of options on the interior. It does have heated seats as well. I did forget to mention that. Seats are heated. Hood latch can be a little tricky to get to. There we go. Here's our 2UZ Toyota V8 engine. These are known to be super reliable and last forever. This does have a Canon cold air intake, but the exhaust has not been modified. runs and drives great it's in awesome condition the engine itself is super quiet um, it's very very pleasant to drive even with the bigger tires um, it doesn't float around the road it's still very stable very well planted uh, the engine makes enough torque to make this thing not frustrating to drive it doesn't have to rev up super high to move it around um, it still feels very relaxed and that it doesn't struggle to get up to speed which is a very good thing obviously uh, so this is our 2005 Toyota Land Cruiser. If you have any further questions, please feel free to check out this car on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.